Hello and welcome. This is Ruvelmonger. And my friends, Ermac is now out for Mortal Kombat 1. Came out just the other day, along with the big patch. And we do have a video covering the patch. You can find a link for that in the video description if you want to check that out. But today, let's talk Ermac. So I played around with Ermac for a little bit here. And I gotta say, I'm impressed, if not even a little bit confused. So Ermac, yeah, he had the trailer, all the kind of stuff. But, you know, Ermac is very much, uh, for lack of a better term, because it's not a good term, but Ermac is wizard-coded, right? Uh, he's got, like, the whole Lich playbook going on here, spectral powers, ghostly powers. Like, dude's basically summoning, like, the ghost armies from Lord of the Rings, or he's, like, uh, Shadow Isles from League of Legends, that kind of stuff, right? All spooky and spectral. And when you're wizard-coded, I don't know, in my brain, that always tells me you're a zoner, I guess. And couldn't be further from the truth as far as zoning goes, because, like, he barely has anything that can contest from, you know, the full screen, right? Uh, but what he is, is a ridiculous and monstrous pressure character. Like, he's still spooky, don't get me wrong. Like, look at his just walk animations. Like, see how he's kind of floating here? Like, that looks sick. Like, someone thought of this, put just a little bit more care into it. I love these kind of animations. I love all of his animations. They're great. Like, they just really sell, like, the Undead Army spectral power aspect of the character. But yeah, Pressure Monster is my initial opinion on the character. Now, it's not to say he doesn't have other things as well. Like, uh, I think he has very proficient neutral. Uh, he has a very workmanlike uh, down four, good poke. Stand two, very interesting. Uh, the fact that it hits from as far away as it does, like this far away roughly and that it's a natural launcher string as well. That seems pretty dang good, all things told. So like the neutral is not bad either. And like, you know, as far as like combo ability and all that kind of stuff, sure, he seems very proficient enough. So there you go. Like, I'm sure you can get more optimal than that, but that's an idea, right? So combos are good too, mid, screen neutral is good but yeah let's talk that pressure so ermac has this move the spirit punch back forward one right and by itself it's just a big old spectral glowy punch cool enough i guess and enhanced knocks people down sure cool whatever but what you can do is hold it and when you hold it it becomes a crumple state that's always handy right if you can manage to get that off and while you're holding it you can also cancel out of it and this allows for some shenanigans, as you're probably already thinking. So, shenanigans part one. If we do this, go into our move, hold the move, dash cancel out of the move, can we get a follow-up? And yeah, you better believe it. That's exactly how it works. Now, you're only allowed one per combo. It's uh, similar to the patch, right? How they changed up Rain, his uh, charge in the dash. They're only letting you do this once per combo, because otherwise one, two would just be an infinite in and of itself. Specifically, when you do it, you're not allowed to dash out as fast on the second one. So that just curtails the whole thing. Now, this dash cancel does conflict, though. So while you're using this for dash cancel combos, it counts that one dash you're allowed. It counts against the uh, launcher back forward three. So back forward three, you can dash cancel the end of that to allow for juggles. Like, say, that combo we did earlier in the video. So if you do this and then go into something like that, that won't work. You're allowed one dash cancel, period. You gotta pick and choose which one it's gonna be, basically. Just to curtail like 500 damage combos and other shenanigans that this would allow. The thing about doing this move and doing dash cancels is it changes the whole offense flow of the character. Like normally, okay, hit confirm, you get it or you didn't, right? And if you get it, great combo. And if you didn't, okay, usually you're some kind of negative. Better start holding block, you lost your turn, sure. But what if you had to say, like, no, nah, I'm going to start dancing around here and you have to change up your offense because my momentum, my offense flow is different than what you're used to. So that little sequence there, like, admittedly, there's holes there, right? There's negative frames. But the pressure comes from the fact where... While I'm doing this, you know, am I going to let it rock? Because I could. And, you know, if I let it rock and it's fully charged and you try to hit a button, that's probably not going to end out well for you with the crumple state and everything. 
And am I dashing forward for the throw? Or am I canceling out and then going for, say, my longer range moves like my stand two, right? Because if you hit buttons right away, you might get tagged. Like, sure, if I cancel in, dash in, try to throw you, I will get tagged. However, if I cancel out and you try to hit buttons right away, that's a punish for me. Like, just the numbers by themselves, even if I'm negative a bit every time, doesn't tell the whole story. And specifically, if I'm canceling out into like back dashes and stuff, if you're doing something long enough that can like catch me doing that, it's probably slow and I can just block. And if it's that slow, it's probably not safe. And there's also the fact that when you cancel and you're using the EX version, you can actually dash cancel out much faster than you can with the regular version. Like it just comes overall quicker. Like say, let's take a move here, like stand four. Stand four, negative seven. That means uh, for Li Mei, that's a guaranteed punish if she wants to spend the bar on the EX, right? Because she has a seven frame special. It's rare, but it exists. So I can hold block all I want, guaranteed punish. But if I spend just that little bit of meter here on the EX dash cancel, I can recover faster than I would. And there we go. Now I get the block in time. And also for me, that's a punish on block, right? So you got to be a little quick on it. Like it's not guaranteed. You got to have quick fingers. But you can change the frame data of certain situations as well. It's because it lets you do it faster. Because the regular version, not happening. It has to be the EX version. So oddball pressure, negative pressure, yes, but pressure that even if it's negative, it makes the enemy guess. It makes them have to think about what they're doing because just hitting buttons is not always going to be the right answer, especially as you backdash out of range, hit them with like your incredible stand two or something like that, right? And the fact that it just creates all sorts of combos, like, you know, moves that aren't necessarily combo starters in of themselves, like a stand three or even stand four by itself. One quick dash cancel away. And then all of a sudden, hey, they are combo starters, right? So you can get some very fun, very interesting, just pressure combos damage, all of it out of this one move. And then he has another really fun move as well. So Ermac has a fly. It's not as dramatic as it sounds, more like a brief levitation. And you've got a smidge, and I mean a smidge, of air control on it forwards or backwards. And certain moves you have leave you airborne, like say, your forward four knee. So forward four knee, boom, you can levitate cancel right off like, you know, a centimeter off the ground, which is very interesting. And not the least of which is you get access to your airborne moves. So like say, Forward for knee into levitate into jump one. That's a two hit combo that actually combos. It's true. It works out. And actually, as you know, a jumping attack that will count as an overhead. So that gets extra tricky, especially because he's got an air low. His only like proper projectile, if you want to call it that, it goes down to the ground and stomps the ground. And that is a proper low. And you can do that low off the knee as well. And just to call it out for what it is, welcome back, Grundy. Because uh, if you EX it, it's got Swamp Hands, that is a like, capture state. And you can kind of just do whatever combos from there, right? That's cool. I like it. Although it is two bars, it is very expensive. Now, if you're going for that low, which is 18 frames, and fly cancel overhead, uh, the overhead's a little bit slower. The base fly cancel by itself is 21 frames. And then, of course, you know, the attack after the fact. So there's no unseeable mix, or is there? Or is there? Because while the base fly may indeed be 21 frame startup, the enhanced fly is 11 frames, as you can see there. Now, it does go weird sometimes. Sometimes it'll say it's like negative hundreds or negative thousands. But yeah, it's 11 frame startup, right? And 11 frame startup. And jump one is seven frames. Hey, let's do some math. 11 plus seven, what is that? Oh, it's 18. Oh, it's the exact same startup as the low. So you can make it if you're willing to burn a little bit of bar. You block forward four, an immediate, unseeable, unguessable, like you just gotta take it for what it is. Low or overhead in the full combo, you better start guessing. Of course, if you're willing to spend those two bars, then it's full combo either way, unless you get blocked, but hey. That happens, I guess. Now to note, the low is a true jail. You can't mash armor out of it. Fly cancel overhead is not unless you burn the meter. If you burn the meter, then it is a true jail. 
then you're good to go. So, you know, off an 11 frame high, not too bad. And yes, it is a high. I know you expect this kind of move to be a mid. They saw the problem in that right away, I guess, once they started coding in that mix up. So yeah, that is a high, unfortunately, but still. Uh, if you got some meter to back it up, it's like literally, you know, potentially 50-50 for game on the spot. That's not good pressure. I don't know what is. And that's just some of the stuff I found that was really cool with Ermac out of the gate. Obviously, he's got a lot going on, you know. Uh, he's got some of the best animations in the game. They're super sick. Uh, he's got really interesting traits. And of course, I already talked about some really interesting traits because he's got levitate, fly cancels. He's got dash cancels, but he's got like stuff like the spectral shield, where if this is up, your meter takes damage, not your health, which is a very interesting concept. If uh, you're going to die in the next couple hits anyways, you know, when a breaker is not going to save you, you know, hey, might as well invest, right? You got the meter, go for it. Extend your life bar. And of course, Ermac Classics, you know, Teleslam, Hands Teleslam's the combo starter. He's got your teleports and he can choose teleport in the air or if he's in the air, you can teleport on the ground, right? You don't just have to be in the ground or in the air to get the appropriate one. You get to choose at all times, which is actually kind of cool. And I guess time will tell where Ermac kind of shapes out because as he stands he's got some very interesting traits and obviously these dlc characters have been uh pretty powerful y'all as a peacemaker definitely uh put an exclamation point on that's why he got big time nerfed so i guess they're very willing to see if these characters can be strong before you know maybe they take their knees out from underneath them but they'll let them be strong first right and i think ermac has a pretty decent case at being strong and you know what if he's not Quan Chi got a whole whack of cool buffs not too long ago. So if he's not strong, then hey, they'll probably make him pretty strong. But the DLC characters, the cameos, and the characters have all been pretty interesting so far. And Ermac is certainly just the next in the long line of interesting characters. So, so far, thumbs up. That's my opinion on them. And that said, well, I guess that's the video. So thank you very much for watching. Hope this video has found you well. And go out and play some Mortal Kombat.